Guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Team Fortress 2. Um, today I'm rolling the uh, Soldier, uh, obviously, and I'm running the original, which is uh, basically just a reskin of uh, the, the the rocket launcher, which is based upon kind of a quake, which is uh, uh, part of Team Fortress's roots, basically. Uh, I also have the uh, the shotgun here, and a shotgun is just just a stock shotgun. I I, I like that one the best, um, even though you get quite uh, quite a number of of uh, options for secondary weapons. I, I feel that that one's the best one. I also have the escape plan post nerf, uh, twice nerfed. Uh, not not scout, sorry. Um, it's actually yeah, it's uh, it, you're marked for death as soon as you switch to it. And I still have marked for death. You can see the icon beside my my soldier icon. Um, we're starting to get into classes. I don't actually play that often, and, I, and I'm probably not particularly good at. Um, and it's it's just not something I I like. You know, I, I specialize mostly in the, kind of like the scout and accuracy classes. I'm not really good at lining these rockets up. I know people who are way better at it, and that pyro is zooming in on him. I didn't want to draw attention to him. Wow, what the hell is that? Uh oh, time to run. But um, yeah, these are classes I don't normally play. Uh, projectile classes. Uh, I'm admittedly better at soldier than I am at dome man, and probably a lot of this video you're gonna see me without a pocket medic. Uh, if you're if you got a pocket medic, uh, there's a lot of great options. Uh, you could. Uh oh, I meant to rocket jump there. Uh, let's just get the hell out of here and get get health now. I don't know why he just didn't kill me. So if you have someone with a quick fix, uh, they will rocket jump with you, which is actually really cool. Uh, I, that's actually one of my favorite parts of this. Um, with, with the quick fix, basically, I never knew that about the quick fix at all. Uh, and a, and a great tip for you is uh, you you could just uh, rocket, you could jump, and then I'll consider it will consider it a, a rocket jump, whatever you. Uh, and I'm gonna die because I can't just switch to the uh, I can't switch to that uh, uh, the the speedy equalizer anymore. The escape plan, sorry, I don't go fast enough anymore for that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a huge fan of these weapons, and and as I said once again, not a class I usually play. Um, and, and I find a lot of the soldiers' malaise to be kind of meh. Like they're kind of just mediocre. Um, you can you can just if you if you like them you can use them. It's completely up to you. Um, I haven't really set. I've seen them all and I haven't settled on any particular one uh, as being like really really good. And by the way, if you jump all the time, it's it's honestly you could do worse. Like it prevents you from getting hit as snipers. Pro tip for any class you play: just jump around all the time. Uh, but the shotgun is great because you know you know you get a hit scan weapon. And you, you just happen to, uh, um, you know, if, if you're out of ammo, you know, it's a great option. And I'll just help out with that. Fortunately, our team's, uh, team's over here. We're going to just push it. So, I guess the pyro especially, you can just go, hey, pyro. Oh, okay, that's our guy. I don't think that was our guy. <laughs> a teleporter over here. I don't know. I, I think I think it's all great stuff. Um, you, you could do worse. Oh, I'm dead now. Uh, so let's let's switch it up a bit, actually. So um, the only difference between the original and the uh, and the rocket launcher is it, where the rocket starts from. Uh, it could be on the right, uh, where it normally is actually for the rockets. Uh, like it, like I'll show you. It fires actually from the right side. So uh, you could do cornering better, um, or you could you could actually flip the view models. Actually, come from the other side, which is kind of neat. Uh, but I guess we'll go into some some weapons like the direct shit, and uh, let me just do some kind of weird loadout here uh, with I don't know ham. Yeah, this is like the default loadout. Um, we'll do equalizer. Honestly, the malays I think are all pretty, like they all have their ups and downs at this point. So I don't think this goes to the end. Yeah, that's what I thought. Whoops. So mastering the art of rocket jumping is uh, probably something you can do that's uh, pretty valuable with your time. Uh, because then you won't have to run back to the front lines all the time like I am right now. 
Uh, so the two weapons I have is I have the Righteous Bison, which is like this kind of, kind of the best I can describe it as is an unlimited ammo, spammy weapon, uh, and I just got sniped basically out by the heavy. Yeah, look, I found another escape plan. Cool. And that guy's using the rocket jumper, uh, which is uh, too pro for me. But I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys in a minute what, what that does. So the direct the direct shit. Okay, so wait. So for, first of the bison. The bison is another projectile. Uh, it's a projectile pistol, basically. It was added in some sort of update that included a bunch of... Uh, like, you basically get this. And it penetrates people and... and crap like that and it's honestly it's a load of shit to be <laughs> I won't even lie to you um, and and the reason for that is I would not take it because of the fact you start with a projectile weapon already having another one really doesn't add anything to your arsenal I'm very I'm very keen on that which is like I think I think your secondary weapon should make up for uh, whatever disadvantages you have uh, it's a shame I didn't have a rocket with me and that guy died um, and it's just, I wouldn't really take it for that reason, because it's just, what are you going to do when you aim it? It's just like, you got four shots with that, it's like another rocket launcher that doesn't do any explosive damage. Like, why, why would you take this piece of shit? I don't even know. Um, I'm not, I'm not big on it, basically. It doesn't do a hell of a lot of damage, it's, and I'd rather have a hit scan weapon as my backup than, uh, than a, another projectile one. Now, as for the direct shit, um, it's a very difficult to aim weapon. Uh, by its by its very name, it basically implies, hey, you're supposed to directly hit things, and it can be difficult to do um, at times. Uh, I, I I find it to be a very difficult weapon to use. I kind of just like it for all the wrong reasons, because uh, I like I like it because it's like kind of like a high skill, high reward kind of thing. It's difficult to aim. It really is. And I can't, I can't destroy projectiles with it because it's not hit scan. Uh, but one of the things I, um, uh, I don't, I don't know what I was going on about. But anyways, yeah, direct hit. Yeah, so it's just you know, the, the one thing I like about it though is uh, it makes a really satisfying ding noise whenever you, you mini crit someone, you hit some, you get an aerial basically. Um, that is my favorite part of the whole thing. And it's also very, very good against heavies, because heavies move very slowly. And uh, a sniper just tried to hit me there. What the hell is going, even going on here? You are so a spy. Oh, what? Are you not a spy? <laughs> I was convinced he was. But yeah, the direct hit works mostly against, not against scouts. I'd actually carry around the uh, and I couldn't, I couldn't even kill a sentry. And it's already a level three. That's fantastic. How much health does that fucking thing have? Two direct, two direct hit, uh, direct shit hits. Could not kill it. Well, he he's got it in a really bad place. But anyways, um, I, I yeah, this thing I would not carry around at all. You can get the reserve shooter, which is uh, basically you get half the clip sizes, and you can kill airborne. Tar you can mini create airborne targets after three seconds, and then I'm not too keen on either. So actually, instead of doing that, we'll you will use a bit of the battalion's backup, which is um, it's the one that uh, it's a defensive buff. It got buffed recently. You can't get crit. 35% uh, damage uh, protection. I'm getting critted now. So every, everyone on your team gets a bit of a speed buff, and they also get they also get more health. Oh, that that poor medic is dead now. Oh, that guy's dead. Hey, medic. Bye, medic. All right, and now so we'll just give everyone a speed uh, a little bit of a buff here, and that's basically all it does. And I don't know why to switch weapons. And see, I got a, I got a sister. I didn't even I didn't even help to kill that guy. What the hell is this guy doing? Okay. And I just got a sentry gun. Uh, that was a lot of work for you setting that up, and uh, I'll pay out of uh, pay out of that. 
I feel kind of bad for that. And again, he's an engineer. That's my, that's my job. So you know, I I I don't know if I'd recommend the direct hit. Um, I think it's I think it's cool. I think it's good. I think you're definitely at a disadvantage, especially when you aim like that. That's a terrible aim on my part, and uh, that's basically it with that. Um, so I guess we'll go on to the Liberty Launcher and uh, John's backup. As I said, it's it's okay. I don't know if it's worth giving up your sec your secondary weapon for. You have to have some sort of strategy when it comes to that. Um, I've seen. Oh, here's the speed area speed buff. Uh, this one doesn't give speed buff? I guess not. Well, that's how much uh, preparation I did <laughs> with respect to that. I, I don't ever use these secondaries because they're just like, they're kind of weird. Now this one you're going to love. Uh, you get four rockets out of it and and 25% uh, damage reduction. I don't really know what the point of that was. Um, I guess it'll help you rocket jump more. And it just helps you be kind of like ranged. That's the best way I can describe this. Like, it's just for spamming. It's it's hard to 1v1, guys, but, you know. I, I guess it's kind of good with this setup, because if I'm just intending to range everything... By the way, crits do, like, no damage. Like, absolute bullshit for damage. Like, it's like, a, I think, like, 200 damage or something. So if you're going to run crits with this, um, no. That's all I can say. No, no, sniper. Fuck off. And now I just got randomly critted. That's that's fun. I don't know why I joined these kinds of servers. Uh, so Liberty Launcher more more for now for spamming. I wouldn't use it as a direct uh, combat thing. Actually, I wouldn't even use this at all. I never really used the. If you want if you want faster projectiles, you can use the the direct shit. You know, it's, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'm I'm having trouble getting this getting this thing upgraded because it's just like I can't. Oh wow. Everybody wanted that spy, apparently. I mean... With with the fact that you get more damage out of it, it's it's great for, like, I don't know. There's already a sentry up there. That's ridiculous. Well, I can't really do much about that. And that crit almost would have killed me. Oh, now he's dead. Hey, Snapper, come over here and fight me like a man. No, he's not gonna. He's not gonna come over here. Oh well, let's just go get this thing now. Actually, we can get back. Try and get back up there. I, I mean, I can still two hit like light classes. And with that, I can now use my little buff here, and then uh, now I get many crits with my uh, my attack. And I'm gonna die because I uh, w wasn't using that right. So that, that's basically a liberty launcher. I, I don't think it's worth using because, yeah, it's just it's just not it's not great. Um, it's better than than I guess uh, than it used to be, but it's still I can't find a practical use for it. And so the buff banner, yeah, it's. I wish I could get like some some footage in with me like actually buffing our entire team at least one time. What are you doing, Scout? He's a he's a stealth scout. So uh, I'm actually, believe it or not, if you don't have a medic, that that just saved my life basically. Uh, I think I, I don't need any, I don't need to say anything else. Because you get a bunch of health whenever you hit something, and actually, if you don't have a medic on you at all times, like if you're playing alone, like I am, kind of a thing, uh, then it works out for you. And I just took out his teleporter. Like it's it gives you a bit of a health buff, which is basically if you're just on your own, then. Uh, Guess what? You get free healing, and actually, I would be, I would roll this all the time if I didn't have a medic on me. So, if you're playing by yourself, just spam it into crowds. Eventually, maybe you'll get some crits, some other shit. You know, it's 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 fine by me. And you'll get health back every time you kill someone. And so, actually, I I I I'm a, I'm a fan of this. This is good. And pyro, watch out for pyros just randomly reflecting there. Got him. 
Now, Pyro's bad. They're gonna be your bane. For all the wrong reasons. Oh, damn it. See, every time I try Malay, I never, I never win that. Uh, Pyros are going to be your bane, but not for the right reasons at all. Because they're, they, it's a matter of luck when it comes down to, to air blasting. I'll get into that in a minute, though. Uh, let's just finish up with the weapons. Mantrides are basically uh, for for landing on people. Um, you also don't take uh, as much. Uh, oh, push for a second. So you don't you don't move around it. I don't know. This is more like a gimmicky weapon, kind of like to try and fall on someone. Hard to do. I can't do it. So it, you basically can kill people by Goomba stopping them. It's kind of funny. Uh, it's fun. It, it's fun to use these kinds of things, and yeah, this is another one of these kinds of weapons that basically uh, it, they're gimmicky things for rocket jumping. Like, why would I ever use that? I don't know. Um, I guess we'll go on to something like the Beggar's Bazooka, uh, which is like. Uh, oh, actually, is there any other interesting delays I can use? Um, yeah, this one. Uh, well, well, we'll use that in a minute, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll try the Pain Train. Uh, cause since we're on a cart pushing one, cause I chose a good one. Eh. So you can still rocket jump, kinda. This is basically, you have to load the rockets in and then shoot. It's really weird. And that was a spy cause he wasn't carrying his weapon. I didn't actually expect that. Thank you. So you basically load your rockets in. You can't really choose when you, when you get to fire them. It's kind of a little bit awkward. But uh, you, it's basically like spam happy. And now since I have the pain train, uh, I can basically just do that. So let, let's go and cause some pain for this guy. And that's basically what it is. He basically just fired into crowds kind of like that. Um, <laughs> that's all you do. It's actually kind of, it's, it's actually a really fun weapon. Um, I, I wouldn't exactly call it the most uh, skilled using because you can't be accurate with it. It has like a random aim variation on it. It's it's sort of weird. Oh, we, we lost. It has like a random aim. Sorry, random aim de deviation, which is basically you can't you can't aim with it at all. Um, I still would I still would recommend it basically if you're if you're just like you know pubbing with friends and stuff like that. Sure, why not use it. Um, it's powerful. Uh, it doesn't re doesn't require a lot of like. You're not gonna you're not gonna win any friends with us. Let me, let me tell you that because it's it's probably the most effortless rocket launcher I've ever used. Because just like you're not aiming them, I'm not gonna go. Oh shit! Ni nice fucking air shot with this. No, it's not. That's not the case. So you know you are kind of limiting yourself in a way. Um, that's pretty much all that needs to be said about that. It's it's not terrific. But uh, it's powerful. It it very much is. Um, but it has its it has its disadvantages, and it's also fun to see pyros trying to rocket air blast that because they're not going to be able to. Um, that's pretty much it for that. Um, I guess I'll go into the cow mangler, which is the last one I need to show off. It's actually gotten some buffs recently. Uh, it doesn't do. Uh, it had it had a fifth projectile and uh, and had like a damage and reload thing. But this one can't be crit this one, this one. There's no way you can get crits with it, and it's not for damaging buildings. However, it has no ammo limo limitations, and it has a really cool ability that basically works like this. And you can kind of spam that. It uses all your rockets. I know there's still and I think did I hit somebody? I think I did. But it's, it can't, I, I, I think they can kind of like, they can, they can reflect it. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, that was a guy. Um, it, so it's now four rocket, uh, it's now four rockets instead of five, which is kind of neat. Uh, I, I, I kind of, I kind of like this. This is cool. It makes a nice pew pew noise too. It's like pew pew. It's actually a really cool weapon now. Um. And it's not very good against buildings, so you're not going to be ranging any kind of sentries with it or anything. But you can spam, like, uh, entryways and walkways with it, kind of thing. That's kind of the more interesting thing to do with it. Um, no one really pushing this. But I can. I have the pain train. It's what I'm supposed to do. It's, it's a cool rocket launcher. Um... The thing you have to remember is for any rocket launcher that gives you less than four projectiles, remember it is like a 
it is a lot of your a lot of your firepower just consider it like it's not another rocket that you're disposable so by removing this they remove basically a fifth of the uh, ammunition at your disposal just do that oh okay unfortunately they have a they have a sentry up there guess what I'm gonna do against it exactly shit and he hit me with it well that's uh that's hunt spamming for you can't really do much with that when I'm just uh I, I was moving like the at the speed of snail but you know uh, let's let's equip a rocket launcher that's probably better suited for that. I, well, actually, no. We can we can just go now. Fucking goof off. Let's go do that. Okay, so now we're gonna use a market gardener and and uh, rocket launcher thing right here. So uh, if you if you hit someone while you're rocket jumping, uh, you get you get a basically a, a free crit. I can't air straight for shit. Oh, uh, what? Oh, it wasn't a crit. Well, I. By the way, if you hadn't told, if you can't tell, I'm terrible with rocket jumping. Therefore, I'm not going to do a very good job with it. But we'll give it one more go. I almost had it. I almost had a crit there. Uh, I, I will get that crit yet, and then I had the shotgun for self defense, basically. Yeah, I'm just it's not my thing. So we got to wait for someone to come over here. What the hell? Why does this guy look like, uh... Am I missing something? Is there some update or is this some, some guy's server thing? Because these guys look like they're the models from, uh, MVM. Anyways, with the rocket jumper I do no damage, I get a shit ton of ammo. Damn it. Everyone looks like they're from MBM now. Is this some sort of server bot I'm not aware of? Because it's confusing and scaring the fuck out of me this, at this exact same time. Co-op mode is entering uh, the realm of uh, standard game. All right, let's go try to get this guy. Oh, come on. I fucking had that too. Why is this the hardest thing in the world for me to do? I don't even know. But, uh, it, it's, it's more of a goofing off build, it's not really like a, can't really do anything practical with this. It's kind of if you like, just like messing around. Come on. Damn it to fuck. Nope, no one's up here. Oh well, I can't really show you much with this. I guess that's it for the weapons. There's uh, not very much in terms of. I'll show you the, the other uh, weapons when I get to them. But uh, I guess for now we can do some class up, class matchups. Um, Scout, you're always. Uh, damn it, Scout, uh, you're you're always gonna. Oh, come on. Okay, and fuck. Can't aim for shit at all with the, well, it's with rocket jump jumping. Scout, you're always gonna. Uh, you're basically the scout has the advantage. The scout's a slippery little fuck. Ah, uh, damn it! No one's coming up to me. What? Fuck you! Fuck you, game. That's it. I'm I'm quitting. I'm rage quitting that.